In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how to calculate the area of a triangle that is bounded by a tangent line to the function 1 over x and the x and y axis, the brown triangle. The crazy thing or interesting thing is the area is always equal to 2 regardless of where the tangent line is located. In a previous video, I showed you how to calculate the slope of a tangent line to the function 1 over x. So in this video, I'm going to start out by drawing the graph of 1 over x, this is the upper quadrant of it, and plot the points x0 and y0. Right there, and that point is x0, y0. And the green line is a tangent line. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, and that will give me the area of the brown triangle. I'm going to calculate or figure out these two points, which are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The first thing I do is take the function f of x is equal to 1 over x, and I'll put in x0, or the value of x. So y0 at that point is equal to 1 over x0. The standard equation for a line is y minus y0 is equal to m times x minus x0, where m is the slope. The slope of this line is equal to negative 1 divided by x0 squared, or x squared. I'm going to rewrite this over again. y minus y0 is equal to negative 1 over x0 squared times x minus x0. Now I'm going to solve for x, which is this point right here. This way I can determine the length of that brown line, which is the base of the triangle. I know that x0 is equal to 1 over x0. So I can rewrite the equation as y minus 1 over x0. And this is equal to negative 1 over x0 times x minus x0. It turns out y is equal to 0 at the x-intercept. So I'm going to take the 0 and plug it in for y right there. So I put 0 in, and I have 0 minus the rest of the equation. And I'll just move the rest of the equation down like that. And of course the 0 drops off. Now I multiply both sides of the equation times x0 squared, both sides. On the left hand side, I can take that 2 and cancel it with the x0 on the denominator, so I'm left with negative x0. On the right hand side, these two x0 squareds cancel each other out. So I'm left with negative 1 times x minus x0. On the left hand side, I bring down negative x0. And on the right hand side, I take negative 1 times x, which is negative x, and then negative 1 times x0, which is positive x0. Now I subtract x0 from both sides of the equation. So on the left hand side, I have negative 2x0. And on the right hand side, I have negative x, and these two x naughts cancel each other out. To get rid of that negative x, I multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. So I end up with 2x naught is equal to x. And that is my value for the x intercept. Now to figure out the y intercept. To figure out the y intercept or the y value, which is this point right there. Now this distance here, the brown line, which I'll draw in a second, right there, that's the height of the triangle. And anywhere along the y-axis, or the y-intercept, x is going to be equal to 0. And I'm going to put 0 into the equation. And then I'm going to solve for y. So I'll bring the equation down and put 0 in. 
the left-hand side remains unchanged, which is y minus 1 over x naught. So I have negative 1 times 0, which is nothing. And then I take negative 1 times x naught, which is x naught, divided by x naught squared. The x naught in the numerator cancels with one of them on the denominator. So I'm left with 1 as the value for the numerator. So now I have y minus 1 over x naught is equal to 1 divided by x naught. Now I add 1 over x naught to both sides of the equation to isolate the y. So 1 over x naught cancels with that 1 over x naught. So I'm left with y is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2, divided by x naught. And that is the y-intercept. Now I'll find the area of this brown triangle. And the area of any triangle is 1 half times base times height, which is 1 half times the base, which is 2x naught, times the height, which is 2 over x naught. I can simplify the equation. This 2 and this 2 cancel. That x naught and this x naught cancel. So this equals 2. And it wouldn't matter where I drew the tangent line. The area of the triangle bounded is always going to be 2. So if I make this triangle, the area is 2. Or if I create a triangle like this, the area is also 2. As always, make sure you share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Likes and comments and the link to Facebook below. And make sure you subscribe to Calculus Fun. I am posting new things all the time.